So the Chinese company Alibaba just released a new AI model called Quan3 and this is basically the successor of Quan2.5 that they just released a few months ago. And as usual, this model is available for free. It is open source so you can download this model to your computer and you can even just run it locally on your computer. Although you don't have to do that because there are many other ways you can try Quan3 uh, daily using your web browser which I'm going to show you later. But first, let me show you a few things that you probably need to know about Quen3. Okay, first of all, this model is a hybrid model. So you can use it in a traditional way or you can use it as a reasoning model, which I think is quite interesting because most models usually separate the regular and the reasoning models. But Quen3 is basically the two versions in one. And by the way, there are multiple versions of Quen3. The biggest one is Quen3 with 235 billion parameter and 22 billion of activated uh, parameter. So this one, the activated parameter means that it is going to use only 22 billion parameters when it is processing a token. So basically it will only use the information that is relevant on its training data. So it's not going to use all of them. It's not going to use all the 235 billion. Instead, it just focus on the 22 billion that is uh, related or relevant and that's why why this model is affordable this is actually the same approach as deepseek r1 to keep the model affordable and fast and there's also the smaller version with 30 billion parameter and 3 billion activated parameter and there is also an, a few other smaller models like this one with 32 billion parameter 14 billion 8 billion and then all the way to 0.6 billion so these models are going to be uh, compatible with smaller computers. And yeah, these models don't have any activated uh, billion parameters, something like that, because they're just using all of them at the same time, which is okay for a smaller model. So uh, another thing that you want to know is that this model supports various languages. So it's not just in English or Chinese. There are many other languages supported and actually they have the double the amount of training data compared to the previous model. So you would imagine that it's going to be vastly different. It's going to be way, way better and we can use it on different languages. And also it is good at agentic behavior. It supports MCP, which is very good. If you're a developer and you want to use an AI model that is affordable and supports MCP, then you can use Quen3. And I would say that's all about it. There are some benchmark score, but I usually don't care too much about benchmark data because it could be cherry pick. And some AI models are still better than Quen3 in some areas, although Quen3 is catching up. But anyway, if you want to use this new model, you can navigate to chat.quen.ai this is the official page for anyone that you want to that want to use quen uh, models from alibaba and here you can select the model that you want to use there are only three versions of quen3 there is the highest one and then select smaller and then the regular model but even the regular model still support reasoning version so let's try using this new model and here you can enable thinking or not it's totally up to you and what's unique about this feature is that you can actually adjust the budget of the thinking model so you can make the reasoning process to be short or really long it's up to you so it's an amazing feature i would say and i'm hoping that in the future we'll see more platforms like ChatGPT or gemini allow the user to adjust the number of the tokens for a thinking version because i think that's going to be quite useful anyway i'm going to try using this prompt actually not a prompt this is a test 5 equals 10 6 equals 12 7 14 8 16 9 18 and what 10 equals to the answer should be 5 but so far there is no ai able to answer this riddle and let's see if quen 3 is any better so I'm going to send a message and it will do all the thinking. It has 38,000 tokens. So hopefully it can think deeply before answering the question. Now, in the meantime, I will show you another way you can use uh, Quentry on the, on the browser without having to download anything. You can go to this Hugging Face page. Uh, this is the official Quentry demo. And again, uh, you'll see more models here. Uh, you can click here and you see there is the highest model and then the lowest model with only 0.6 billion parameter now 
Uh, maybe later on my next video, I'll show you how you can download one of these models to your computer so you can run them locally on your local machine. And given that it has the version with only 0.6 billion parameter, I would say even a computer with no graphic card can could easily run this model without any problem. And of course, there's this option to adjust the number of tokens and you can enable the thinking or not. So it's totally up to you. This is not exactly the best way to use Quantry. This is literally for demo just to give it a try. So I still recommend using the official chat.quent.ai if you want to use Quantry model. And by the way, right now, Quantry is not on LM Arena for some reason. So usually new AI models will appear here, but so far I didn't see Quantry at all on the leaderboard. But given that Quent 2.5 is on the ranking number 13, I would imagine that Quentry could be higher, maybe in the score in the range of between 8 to 11. That's my prediction, but honestly, I don't know. They haven't released that to LM Arena, so we have to wait and see. Now let's go back to Quen and let's see what is the answer that they provided to me. You see there are a lot of thinking here and what is the answer? Okay, it's a pattern, it's to oh okay, still wrong answer though. It's 20, it's not 20, it is five. So it is unable to get the answer right, which is kind of understandable. But given that this model is open source, it is also very fast and affordable. I would imagine more platforms in the future will utilize Quentry into their products. So go ahead, visit chat.quent.ai and then try it yourself. And let me, see, uh, let me let me know your thoughts about this new model. Anyway, if you find this video to be useful or if you want to see more AI videos in the future like this one, then subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video.